long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. There aren't enough scoundrels in your life. I happen to like nice men. So this came across yesterday from Deadline, and I want to talk a little bit about it because uh, it's important. And the subtleties about how movies are marketed and what gets made and what doesn't is very acute in Hollywood. Uh, You can go to anybody's IMDb page and see movies that are listed that in development, like the movie I was kind of hoping to see, Francis and the Godfather, is in what they call turnaround, which means it's in development hell, never, probably never to be seen. So here's Daisy Ridley, a uh, young woman in the sea looking to swim from Disney Plus to potential summer theatrical release. And what they're going to do is they're going to take a movie they wanted to put on Disney Plus and put it out in the theaters on the 31st of May. This, for Star Wars fans that care, is a good thing. The reason why it's a good thing, it's because this potentially calms down the chatter of the fake Ray movie. And uh, it's, I mean, completely interesting to me that uh, this would happen. It's a Disney, obviously, product. And Daisy has been talking to people about it. She's also got another movie called We Bury the Dead and The Cleaner, which still say they're filming. Uh, I don't know what We Bury the Dead is about, but The Cleaner is, uh, she plays a veteran who's a window washer who uh, the building is under terrorist attack. It's kind of like Die Hard, but femme-centric Die Hard. And it just, it sounds really stupid in my opinion. Uh, You know, Jennifer Lopez proved that action movies starring women, if they're not sincere, really don't do well. Uh, uh, Sigourney Weaver is is Ridley being an outlier for that. Sorry to tell that to people, but it's true. Okay. Um, But she's been talking about, I think, those two movies too. And when you look at the slate of other movies that she's got on there, there's really nothing else going on. Um, It looks like she's got a lot of work. And her name is attached to what looks to be like at least 20 projects. But when you see something that is in pre-production, it's meaningless until it says filming. And you're getting production stills from the actual filming. Okay. Um, The thing about... Young Woman in the Sea, like I said, it's a Disney product. They were going to put it on Streaming Plus. Disney Plus probably because she's not a big box office draw. Sorry, uh, Ray Tards, but it's true. Um, And yet, they're putting it out in a theatrical release. And Kamran, uh, I suggest you subscribe to his Patreon, where there's actual rationality and objective... Uh, thought process is going on there. Uh, basically says that this is probably Iger giving her a bone, a reward, uh, to have it go out in theaters uh, uh, instead of the Ray movie. Okay. Um, after. Because the Ray movie is not a real thing. And I will get into theories of why they keep talking about it. 
Um, suffice it to say that I believe now that there's more to it. I sent this article. This is, again, Inside the Magic. Different writer this time. Daisy Ridley says Star Wars fandom really isn't... Fandom sexism isn't a re- really a thing. Okay. Unless it's heterophobic and against white white men, white women, and men in general. That is sexist. Okay. But she basically was on uh, the Today Show yesterday, which I did not see it, talking about everything. And it's interesting to me that um, she even said this because it's been the narrative out of Lucasfilm for a decade that uh, people disliked her character because she's a woman and it's no, it's not. You know, as the girls, she didn't like the character. And it's like, because she's not a well-written character, not a well-acted character, by the way, either, even though, you know, the uh, critics have to say she was. And the writer brought up the fact that the idiots all believe that the, the, the moniker Mary Sue is sexist. Well, what does Gary do then? Question mark. Okay, let's talk further. I thought one just drew a pentagram on the floor and chanted, I summon thee three times. (laughs) Urinal cakes? I don't believe this. All these years, the doyen of Seattle's elite, looking down her nose at everyone in sight, she owes it all to this. She's managed to have her urinal cake and eat it too. As I think we now have what's known in the legal profession as a bargaining chip. Oh, are you kidding? She'd give anything to keep this quiet. Uh, All right, let me go talk. She's in the final level of her guru's serenity training, the week-long vow of silence, day six. No, 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 Marta, that's all right. She doesn't have to come to the phone. Just give her this message. I've flushed out her family secret. <laughs> Hello, Maris. No, stop. Not one more crooked word. Your tongue could open a wine bottle. <laughs> Never had an agent. It's not like she worships the devil. Well, she doesn't have to. He worships her. <laughs> So there's been an uptick in Ray movie crap. This is a tweet. This guy named Titus Braum posted out there, but there's been a lot of crazy shit going down uh, on Twitter X. And it's that when Kennedy had Daisy go out there and make a fool of herself at Star Wars Celebration, um, it made this public again. Okay. Again, this goes back to my video about it being Groundhog Day. Not this shit again. Okay. We're, we're watching these people suddenly come out of the woodwork. Um, and look, there's, there's no general public longing for a Ray movie. And the executives and at Lucasfilm and Disney know that. But you cannot get these people to understand. Now, why is this going on? It's to muffle out and to muffle the... Uh, talk of the Mando Grogu movie. You know, I've got friends saying that they don't really think that's the way to go anyway. Well, whatever. So why is this going on? Because this thing right here, this thing made it put her, put Daisy Ridley out on the stage and suddenly gave the last five people who give a shit about the sequel trilogy a reason to pee their pants. Okay, which is exactly what they're doing now. And... They're back to bullying regular Star Wars fans. They're back to attacking anybody who says uh, these movies objectively sucked. Okay. They're back to attacking anybody who dares to criticize the bestest Eva or Ray. And look, you know, it's not all Daisy's fault. She's not the one who wrote the character. Okay. You know, Ryan Johnson, J.J. Abrams, Chris Terrio, John Kasdan. Okay, they're the ones that did it. Okay, Kathleen Kennedy was the one that said, this is the direction we need to go. We're going to take it, kick the boys out and make this a, a girl's 
uh, LGBTQ franchise and, f- you know, fuck 90% of the general audience. Okay. <clears throat> These people are using pictures of girl, little girls in Ray costumes hugging Daisy, gag me with the fork, to get their point across. That is, little girl can't buy a movie ticket. All right, her parents can, but she can't. You know, what they're, what these people fail to understand and what they don't want to admit because if they said it out loud, then it would be real, is that the character isn't popular. Daisy knows the character isn't popular. Let's go back to see what she said about Star Wars fans and sexism. It's not really a thing, okay? She knew why the people didn't like the character. People didn't like the character because she was, first off, everything that a hero in Star Wars should, everything that a hero in Star Wars should not be. All right? She was written badly. I don't think Daisy did a good job playing her. I don't care what people think. Um, She wasn't directed well. Uh, She was uh, a, a mouthpiece and a marketing piece for social justice which is bullshit nobody wants in Star Wars. And uh, she's the, the, the fans, men and women alike, rejected her outright, just like we reject Ray or uh, Kyle Ron. Okay. It was a terrible three movies that were thrown together with no plan. All they had was, we need to make sure that everything that's out there on the planet is represented except for the people that actually are the fans. Okay. We hate, we need to kick them out. And what they got was merchandise hanging on the shelf at Ollie's six years later. Seriously. Last Jedi figures of Ray on the shelves at Ollie's six years later. This is what they got. This is what the Disney bean counters are looking at. All right. But Kennedy goes and and tricks Daisy into going out there and announcing this movie. So now we have to talk about it all the time. We're not talking about Mandalorian and Grogu. We're talking about this. Okay. And reporters won't stop talking about it. I would tell Daisy if I was Disney, you need to tell them you're not talking about any Star Wars movies when you're talking about the young woman in the sea or we bury the dead or cleaner you can't just just stop talking about it just say we're talking about the current movies all right because then they'll stop and then it'll 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 die down look do i believe that this current uh, blaze of bullshit on the internet about the ray movie that's never going to happen uh is manufactured yes i do you know i i talked about who I think is behind it. Okay. We know for a fact that the Gizmodo article refuting the Ray movie is being delayed indefinitely was uh, planted there by Hidalgo. Okay, we know that. All right. We know that he probably was the one that planted the uh, story and deadline that Gina wasn't coming back to Lucasfilm. How many years ago? Three years ago. Okay. Okay. There are children that are three years old that have been born, if you think about it. I mean, wow. This is the thing that we have to understand, okay? This is manufactured. We know at least one or maybe two of these uh, ex-Daisy Ridley uh, tards, Ray tards, um, sequel tards, get paid per tweet. They're monetized, okay? Now, I... I'm shaking my head going, you know, I um, think this is all manufactured and that these uh, idiots in Hollywood, the reporters from the trades, don't understand that this is a game being played by somebody. And the game being played is, again, trying to steal John and Dave's thunder out of jealousy, out of pride, and it's designed to burn it down on the way out the door. Which I, and I believe that. I mean, I'll go to my grave thinking that because it's hurting the franchise. Nobody's, nobody on our side's talking about Mandalorian and Grogu. You know, I've got friends who 
uh, we were talking about what could be going on behind the scenes, blah, blah, blah. And instead of talking about what Mandalorian and Grogu could be, we're talking about this shit. Okay. This was manufactured to form a narrative. All right. And the people behind it know that. Okay. Hopefully Daisy uh, and the fact that she's got the young woman in the sea coming out, hopefully it'll be going to uh, theaters that this crap will die down and we'll have to find something else to talk about. But until Kennedy is announced as, as leaving, we'll, we'll just have to see, period. But again, we've got the uh, earnings call, the first quarter earnings call coming up on February 7th. We just have to, have to see what the subtext of everything that Iger says is, and then we make our judgments from there, period. Maybe we'll see the emails drop. Maybe he's uh, holding back because of pelts. And, you know, my thing is, I don't think it would hurt Iger to uh, strong arm Kennedy. But that's just me. And it would stop this shit. Anyway, this is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy. Mm-hmm.